Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. My name is Shraddha Singh and today we are going to study about one more project in a scratch. The project name is Archery. So it means today we are going to create an Archery project, okay? So what I will do and before that, please like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more latest update, okay? So I will run this project, I will show you. See, this is our arrow pointer. You need to, and this arrow pointer will follow your mouse pointer, okay? You need to just click here. So you will get your target. So this all random balls are your target, see? You need to just click here. And once you will click on the target, you will get your score also. So your score will increase by one. Okay. So this is our today's class project. See, now let's start this project. So first we need to take one new project. So we have to just search for scratch. You need to click on scratch.mit.edu and here you will click on the create button. So once you will click on the create button, you will get your new project, okay? What I will do, first I will delete the cat. After that, uh, what is our next step? We have to add some backdrop. So suppose I want this blue sky as my backdrop. Now we need to draw our sprites. So for sprite, we want arrow pointer okay so how we will add that arrow pointer you need to draw your arrow pointer okay so how you will do that you need to first select your color whatever color you want and then draw that this you need to just click on this circle here what i will do I will add some line here. Whatever color you want, you can select. Whatever width you want for your line, you can take that. After that, we want one more from here. So this is your arrow pointer. You need, uh, you have to rename it arrow pointer. After that, we need to add one uh, more backdrop. So you need to click on your paint option. Once you will click on that, now we have to create arrow. So suppose I want that arrow in the black color, in smalls. After that, the third thing we have to create our target. So first we will rename it as a arrow. Then what is our next step? We need to add our next part, which is the target. So target you can create in any color. Here after that, suppose I want to add, this is my next color. Then uh, whatever color you want, you can select that first. You can draw the circle. So this is my third part, okay? So this is my target. So what I will do, I will rename it as the target. So in this project, we have to add three sprites and one backdrop. So as you can see, we added three sprites and we added one backdrop. So now we will start from our arrow pointer. So for the arrow pointer, what we have to do, okay? So we can see arrow pointer will follow your mouse pointer. So always we will start from event when flag is clicked. 
So if we want to go to the front layer, where you will get that inside the looks, once you will scroll down, you will get go to your front layer. Okay. Then in the forever, we want to follow our mouse. So you need to just add your forever. Forever means if you want anything continuously again and again. So you have to add your forever. So here, instead of go to random position, we will select mouse pointer. Now, if I will run, as you can see, this will follow our mouse, okay? Whatever size you want, even you can add that. Suppose I want 80. Now, if you will run, it will follow your mouse, okay? So this is our mouse pointer. After that, we will start for arrow. So in the arrow, again, see, always you have to start from when flag is clicked, okay? So we have to add one event. So now we have to create our score. Means when that will hit a target, your arrow will hit a target. So you will get a score. So how you will add that? You need to just click on variable, make a variable, and write down your variable name score. So why we are using the variable to store anything? If you want to store score, you need to create your variable. So variable act as a container. So again, we have to go to the front layer. And we have to start our score from zero. So set score to zero. Okay, now, again, uh, this arrow will follow your mouse, okay? So, and we want that continuously, so we will take the forever. See, we want that continuously and uh, we want that it will follow our mouse. So, you need to just go to your motion. Here, instead of random position, we have to add mouse pointer, okay? Now, Again, we have to add one condition. If that will touch to your mouse down, so what will happen? Okay, so where you will get your condition inside the control, we have that. If, where we will get our conditions here. So if mouse down, if your mouse will reach here, so what will happen? We have to hit our target, right? So again, we need to add our if, if that will touch to your target. So what is this? This is your target. So where you will get that inside the sensing, instead of touching mouse pointer, we have to take target. If that will touch to your target, you have to change your score by one, right? You will increase your score. So instead of my variable, we will select score by one. And suppose if you want to add any sound, even you can start your sound. Now see if I will run, if you will hit here. Okay, so what will happen? You are able to get the score. See? If you will hit, okay. See this for understood. Okay. After that, we have to start the target. Okay. So for the target, what we want? So we want multiple targets. Means we have to create a clone. Means we have to duplicate. So how you will start that again you have to add some event when flag is clicked so what position you want for your target suppose you want to start from here or you want to start from here so you have to take your positions suppose i want to start from here for example here so what is the position so you need to just go to the motion, take this go to X and Y when flag is clicked. So how many times you want to repeat? How much clone you want? 
okay so suppose we want to repeat that or uh, 10 time or 5 time so you need to take your repeat suppose we want only six clones and you have to just create a clone so where you will get create clone of myself means you will get your duplicates okay now we have to move right so what you will do you need to just take this forever see what is difference between your repeat and forever repeat means whatever number you will put here that will repeat only that much time forever means continuously that will repeat okay so here we want to move so we want to move little bit so instead of 10 we can select a 5 and if there will be age because see here we have some ages we have a four ages here okay so once you will scroll down you will get if age okay next part what you have to do means when you will start your clone so for every duplicate we want like a that will work okay so you need to just go to the event okay and just click on your control scroll down you will get when i start as a clone so where you want to go so we want to go some random position means that is not your fixed position as you can see you will get from any random position not a fixed position okay so you have to select just random position after that in which point you want okay so you need to take your point in direction and we want the random values so you need to just go to the operator take the random values means you have to go at any position what is the random value we want what direction you want suppose we want to move 180 means your up direction and uh, up to down or left to right okay then we want to move continuously so what we will do we have to add this forever again we want to move e for each our clones also so here you will take your move okay again if there will be age so what will happen that will return back so you need to take if age on bounds okay now what will happen if that will touch to your mouse pointer okay so what you have to do you have to apply some conditions if okay and we want and so where you will get that inside your operators we have and and means if your both condition will true so first condition we have to take if that will touch to your mouse okay so this is our first condition it means when that will touch to your mouse okay after that what do you want and if you touch like a, if you will mouse down okay so what will happen if that will mouse down also and if that will touch to your mouse pointer so what will happen we have to do for that okay and uh, where is your mouse down this one so what will happen we have to again just go to one random position so you need to just select this go to the random position now if you will run see you will get multiple you will get your score also so this is our agri project okay So in this way, we can create our R3 projects, okay? So how you will save your project? You need to first rename this R3. You need to just click on share and uh, click on copy the link. Copy this link from here and share with your family member, with your friends, okay? 
तो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन इवन इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स ऑल्सो If you want any different project, just write down the project name, and in next video you will get that. Okay, so thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care of yourself.